guy as a citizen asked us to drop in to see Glenn from Stellar Precision Components. It's a great story because it's a new company and you've already got two citizen machines. First of all, why did you do it? As in, set up a new company? Uh, we, me and my partner, both worked for several different companies. Uh, and I think once the idea is in your head of wanting to do it, you've, you've kind of got to try it. Um, obviously, it's a big financial impact. Um, but no regrets, definitely not, no. So that gives an incentive to everybody out there if you want to start their own company. But, I mean, we'll talk about the machine, obviously, but two, you've got two brand new Citizen machines here. How on earth did you buy them? How did you pay for them? Citizen were, were really good with, with the finance. Um, they helped us out. They gave us a, a pay, small payment break, so it wasn't in payment. Um, yeah, they, they kind of held our hand all the way through it. Um, really helpful, anything we needed. Uh, and it, it was kind of, it was a smooth transition really, Brilliant. you know, the, the finance guys doing their best going to different companies to get the best deal for us. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically just that whole operation was really, really smooth. Now you've got the machines, you've got your A20, but we're going to have a look at the L32 with LFE. Yeah. Why have you chosen Citizen now? Uh, I worked on Citizens my whole life. Um, I've worked on various other sliding heads and fixed heads. Uh, but the sliding heads, uh, citizens are, are the ones, I think. They're, they're, the Mitsubishi control is, is second to none. The, the all-cart wizard, the, the software that they provide is, is really good. We use it, use it quite a lot. The support, um, I mean, I phoned some of the guys up at the weekend. They're there. You know, that's the way it is. But, yeah, no, helpful. And the, the machines speak for themselves. OK, when you say the Mitsubishi controls, though, why are they so good to use? Fast, easy, uh, what yeah. is it? It's, it's, it's a clever software compared to some of the others, I think. Um, once you know it, once you're in and you're in it, it's, it's easy. It is an easy software. Now, the machine you've got here is an absolute beauty. It's the L32 LFE, so it's going to hold 32 mil bar, obviously. Yep. Can you go a bit bigger than that, though? Yes, we recently bought the expansion kit, which takes us up to 35 mil. Okay. Now, you've also got three metre bar feed. Yep. So what are, you, what are you actually loading in that in terms of materials? Uh, we've, we've machined anything from copper, brass, bronze, stainlesses. Some nice soft steel I heard. <laughs> yeah, soft iron, soft yeah. iron. Sorry, I was, right, sorry, iron, not steel, sorry about yeah. that. Soft. Yeah, soft iron, that was, um, to be fair, with the LFE it worked, worked well. So in the actual envelope of the machine, what have you got in there? We've got seven driven tools, uh, face driven, cross driven. We have a manual B-axis for angled, cross-driven, tapping, uh, drilling, multiple drilling. Uh, LFE, obviously. So in there, essentially, you've got a load of tools that make, enable you to do some really complex components, yeah. which we'll also come to. So LFE, you mentioned. Why have you gone the LFE option? The LFE, I had never had no experience with it. This is the first time I've used it. Uh, and to be fair, you don't look back from it. It's we, we machined some copper recently, and copper can be a right pig. And uh, it just chipped it up right. into the bottom, lovely, out, out the back. OK, because your partner was saying, you know, you're having to do like five components and then go in there, clean the swarf now, you can run out, yeah. lights out. Yeah, that's right. Lights out production with the LFE is, is, is there. And the, the soft iron, I understand someone else couldn't actually machine it, but you're able to with the LFE? Yeah, the LFE, uh, we thought we'd go through quite a few inserts turning it. But the LFE done one tip, done the whole, ba whole batch. So, so with the LFE, obviously you're a massive fan. I have the Alcart Wizard Mitsubishi controls. Is it easy to actually control the LFE, changing amplitudes and things like that? Yes, um, it's really easy. All of the info is on the Wizard, so you can you can call it up, tell it what chip size you want, um, the spindle speed, and it will give you all your all your data. Yeah, nice and simple. Because you're a first time user of this. Exactly. Yeah. I think what we should do is just talk about some of your parts because you've got some nice parts. First of all, the bronze part. Talk me through what you've done with that. So the bronze part, we, uh, we make batches of 2,000 at a time. And we interpolate mill the cross hole in it. Um, it's got some fine threading on the outside, uh, tight tolerance bore, internal grooving, milled hexagon. Making it sound easy, but you know you, you, you've got your milled flats, for example, and you and you're threading. I mean, it's really fine threading, but the the the, uh, the cross drilling is actually interpolated, not straight through. Yeah, interpolate milled, yeah. So not, not nice and easy. Yeah. <laughs> and 
And then what about the aluminium part? Because again, quite a big, big part, a lot of material removal. Yeah. So that, that's the mating part to the bronze part. Uh, both very fine threads that have to have to be a nice fit to each other. What's the, what's the uh, actual thread? Put you on the spot there. Uh, M20 by 0.5, I think. <laughs> no pressure there. So really fine threads. So really accurate. Yes. Yeah. And then the was it a, a steel part you're making as well? Yep. yep. Steel part. We uh, offset a mill on the on the back driven head. Um, again, Citizen helped us out with that. Right. Um, and yeah. End up. So you couldn't seem, seem quite relaxed about it. So it make it sound really, really simple. Yeah. <laughs> so the whole thing, it's been a great journey from you know setting the business up, getting the finance, getting it all installed. Obviously massive Citizen fans and love working with them. If Neil from Citizen knocked on the door, would that be your next machine? Not yet, but the next machine definitely would be a Citizen. Excellent. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.